I'm often asked why I called the company Pareto Systems, and it's because of my fascination with the many immutable laws and principles that affect us all in business and life, which includes the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule. As you know, 80% of your business will typically come from about 20% of your clients. One of my favorite questions to ask a financial advisor is, do they consistently invest 80% of their time on the 20% of the clients who generate 80% of the business? That's common sense, it's not always a common practice. And part of our process ensures that our clients, our advisors, align and allocate their time on the clients they're trying to competitor-proof and replicate. I've been saying for years that the advisors who like us the most actually need us the least. And by that I mean they're already quite successful. And they have every reason to be content, but they still have ambition. They have aspiration to unlock their full potential and achieve a breakthrough with their business. So what we do is we want to get clarity and help them crack the code. And I don't want to oversimplify, but it really comes down to there being three numbers in the combination. Now, of course, the first number relates to your core competencies. That's your wealth management process. And as you can imagine, many advisors we work with are very effective there. But being a good wealth manager is no guarantee of full success. That's not what separates the best from the rest. You know, many advisors are an eight out of 10 when it comes to their core competencies, but the gaps become more pronounced when we move to the second number in the combination, which is your practice management process. Now, this is your ability to professionalize the client experience and run your business like a business. Now, of course, this impacts enterprise value and your ability to scale your business to another level, but this creates a client experience that makes you referable. Now, of course, many advisors are effective here, but they have more gaps. Many advisors are six out of 10 in the practice management process, which leads us to the third number in the combination which is your relationship management process. Now, the reason why this is so important is that there are many advisors out there who are referable who don't actually get many referrals. It's because of their inability to articulate their value and communicate their full array of services and solutions using stewardship instead of salesmanship. The gaps become even more pronounced in this third number. Many advisors are a four out of 10 here. A lot of it has to do with the fact that they're understated, they're low key and they're professional. We just want them to amplify how they're perceived, how they're described and ensure their clients, prospective clients and strategic partners understand everything they do. This is how they crack the code.